as we integrate this by parts, we're going to need this formula, which means that the very first thing that we need to do is to decide what's going to be u and what's going to be our dv. Now I'm going to choose u to be 3x, and I'm choosing it because it's going to become simpler when I take its derivative. So du is equal to 3dx. That means that the rest of this integrand is going to be our dv. So dv then is the cosine of x dx. I need to take an integral or the antiderivative of both sides of this to figure out what v is going to be. So as I take the integral, I'm not going to worry about plus c's or anything like that but its antiderivative is sine. So my antiderivative is the sine of x. Let's go ahead and put this into our formula. So as I'm applying the integral, I end up with u times v. So that's going to be 3x times v. That's what we just found as an antiderivative. So that's gonna be times sine x. And then I want minus the integral, now I'm switching them, of v du. So v is, again, the sine of x, and du is 3 dx. So not only have I integrated part of this, but the integral that I'm left with is doable. So I'm going to just rewrite what I had there, 3x times the sine of x minus. Let's go ahead and find the antiderivative of sine. That's going to be a negative cosine x. I still have that 3 on the outside, and I should probably throw in that plus c. So as I simplify, my answer is 3x sine x plus 3 cosine x plus c. In this next one, what would you choose for u? Remember you're choosing it because it simplifies when you take the derivative. Did you choose the 5x? So u is going to equal 5x. Its derivative, du, simplifies our life and that becomes a 5dx. This means that everything else in our integral is our dv, so we get an e to the 3x dx. To find v, I'm going to find the antiderivative I'm kind of integrating, and I end up with v is equal to, well, I get my e to the 3x back, but without using a u substitution, I can just multiply by a one-third out in front. So I get a one-third out in front here. So my integral then becomes u times v. u times v is going to be 5x times v, which is one-third e to the 3x minus the integral of v du. v is one-third e to the 3x and du is 5dx. Now there's a little bit of simplifying that I can do. I'm going to take this 3 in the denominator and 5 in the numerator. Let's put this out in front as a 5 thirds. So this is ready to integrate and I'm going to have my answer. Over here I get a 5 over 3x e to the 3x minus, I had that 5 thirds, and I'm ready to find the antiderivative of e to the 3x. We end up with, we've done this, right? I get a 1 third e to the 3x plus c. Just one more thing that I can do, and that's to multiply those threes together. 5 ninths e to the 3x plus c. Now this one feels a lot different because I only have a single function, that natural log of x that's been multiplied. Well, one of these has to be the u and the other one has to be the dv. So dv has to be that dx. So I'm just gonna let dv equal dx and we're gonna trust the process. So that means that u is the natural log of x. Let's go ahead and start with u du then is 1 over x dx, and I need just an antiderivative here. This one's really nice. I end up with v is equal to x. 
Let's apply that formula. So our integral becomes u times v. u times v is going to be an x, I'm gonna put v first, times the natural log of x. And then I want minus the integral of v, v is x, du, and du is one over x dx. This really works out so nicely. I can cancel these x's and I get x, natural log of x minus just the integral of dx is going to be x plus a c. You're doing great. Take a look at my next video here.